Yo, what is going on everybody, it's the Megalodon, or the Meg here, and we are here today for another parkour episode on a custom parkour map. So, no surprise here, we are playing Parkour Paradise 3, the third of the trilogy of the Parkour Paradise series made by Hilka. So now we're going to get straight to the point. Now, I will admit it, um, I was kind of fed up about how you need to con I want need to constantly find the route on Parkour Paradise 1 and Parkour Paradise 2. So I watched a video on this map to whoa that's all fireworks yeah I watched a video on this map to kind of refresh myself from when I did it last time so hopefully it won't be as tedious and as bad as the last two but um yeah without further ado let's just dive straight into it so uh, the thing is um. As you know, I'm kind of approaching the 100 subscriber mark, but uh, obviously I w would like to do a giveaway uh, on the 100th when I reach 100 subscribers. And what is tap? Oh, okay, it's just really slow. <laughs> I'm panicking. The map broke. Um, yeah, but uh, as you saw in the last Safari Zone video, whenever I record on the Technic launcher. And it always con condense into that like really really tight top left bar. So obviously that's not good for the video quality. If any of you know the solution to that problem, can you please um, you know share share with me? Because it I feel like I found that's only that's only uh, apparent when I'm recording the Technic launcher, but not with normal Minecraft. As you can see now, it's completely fine. It's full screen. So yeah, I really want to keep uh, recording more poke play content, so um, yeah, if any of you know the solutions to that, please let me know. It looks like here's Parkour Paradise 3. Um, this map is actually less detailed than Parkour Paradise 1 and 2. The reason for that is Parkour Paradise 1 and 2 both have had a refurbish since their initial release, but Parkour Paradise 3 has always stayed like this since um, you know it was released. So yeah, that is why um, it may look less detailed than it, but uh, hopefully Hyuk is working on a refurbish of Parkour Barriers 3, because if this map is refurbished, then it would look so, so much better, and would be such a good map to play on. Anyway, I think the entry is just about ending right now, it's slightly wonky to the right, but I don't think that would matter too much. We should be dropped off at level 1 very soon. Oh, here it is. Alright, we are just about starting at the three minute mark. So, uh, let's see how long it takes me to beat this. Hopefully less than one hour. Uh, no, actually, that doesn't make sense because if it is... Whoa, what is happening here? Um, hello? I don't think chunks have loaded in prop... Oh, okay, I just need to open it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, hopefully it will take me about... I say 30 minutes because Paradise 2 took me about 40 minutes, but that was the refurbish. This one has not been so, yeah, hopefully around 30. Whoa, what the one? Um, yeah, it kind of lifted me up into the air too much. The, uh, the levitation, all right, that's two levels done already. Moving on to level three, I'm getting a little bit of frame rate lag for some reason. I have to come over here, get the jump boost. Also, um, I've listened to you guys' suggestion. I've removed that texture pack that I've downloaded. So now we're running with the default again. It, in my opinion, the default uh, 1.14 plus doesn't look that good. But the uh, the original, original default, like the one I'm using right now, s still looks pretty good. So yeah, this is why I'm going to probably use defaults when... I'm definitely going to use default when I'm doing a pre 1.14.2 maps as about, work. oh yeah, I remember this level, alright. Uh, as for maps which, oh no, I jumped, uh, no, alright. Yeah, as for maps which are post 1.14, then I might decide whether if I want to, you know, Oh my, oh, I just fell in the same place twice. Not the exact same place. Um, yeah, well, as for post 1.14 uh, gameplay, 
uh, I'll probably you know decide a little bit more if I do want to use the default texture pack or if I want to get a better one. Oh, this one on oh, music notes. Okay, that's pretty easy. So I believe by pressing these two buttons, we're going to open a way. Oh, no, no, a portal, that was it, wasn't it? Right, remote getaway. Pretty sure that's the one you get when you, yeah, escape the end island into, you know, the area with all the chorus fruit and such. And that's about the extent of my Minecraft knowledge. Um, I haven't played vanilla Minecraft survival in a really long time, so I pretty much have no idea. Uh, well, my extent of... Minecraft knowledge pretty much ends at 1.13, I would say. I still I do know a lot about the 1.13 Ocean update. Um, don't really know too much about the 1.14 uh, Village update. As for the 1.15 B and the 1.16 Nether, I literally zero knowledge, zero knowledge. So, um, if any of you guys know how to like you know, learn all the information for dummies, please post it for me, <laughs> because, um, yeah, that's actually kind of hindered my interest for survival service. Before that, um, you know, obviously I kind of like to play Invectious, if anyone still remembers that server, but uh, since then, because there's so much new things going on, I kind of just lost my interest in vanilla survival. But, oh, a dropper, okay. Didn't realize how intense it was. Um, yeah, by you know, I would like to play another good vanilla survival server, which has a good friendly community. But one I really want to play is a good like modded uh, mod SMP, because I remember last year around July, uh, Salty and Nerd uh, made a Texas three server. Now even though that mod pack did include some of my favorite mods, like mechanism and such. I think a lot of you could tell what my favorite mods are from the mods I installed in uh, this is the quicksand, I believe. And I can tell by the shadow. The I remember the first time I played this. I played this. I, I was so like panicked. I'm like, what on earth? Why am I sinking to the ground? But no, this time I accept. I expected it. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Yeah, I remember last year in around July they did a Texit uh, modded server. Now, even though or well, the button here wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Even though it didn't include some of my favorite mods, I still really like that server, and it's really unfortunate that they had to close it. But um, yeah, I would really like uh, if. Uh, you know, members of our community can get another server going like that. Uh, the SMP... Oh, okay, looks like I'm getting a bit of lag for some reason. Okay, I'm getting some lag. How about... Alright, let's turn off my Wi-Fi. Alright, maybe that's gonna help. Actually, no, I don't see how that can help. Um, but I'm getting a lot of ping for some reason. It sh I should not be getting ping. I'm literally, like... Like, in no reason in the world should I be getting ping right now, but I am for some reason. And it's really weird. Um, I don't think there's any overly powerful mods installed in this. Uh, I just don't get why, and I'm getting frame rate lag so it's like all the worst things combined together. It's really weird. Um, okay, anyway, not to panic. I think we gotta jump on this side, I believe it's a 4 block jump over here. You gotta dash through the gap over here and park all up the prismarine. Yeah, also, if any of you guys are wondering about the SMP with Frida, that is on hiatus at the moment because, uh, you know, obviously we're both, you know, not, um, not able to record as YouTubers full time. And because of different time zones, she lives in America, I live in Australia. Also, with the fact that uh, Frida's not a, you know, not that much of a gaming YouTuber. Uh, if any of you followed the channel description I left, sorry, channel link that I link, 
left in the description channel, you see that it's more animation based. So yeah, um, it's kind of just been on hiatus. Although I don't mind if we would ever uh, try to do it again. But I believe we both have some other things from IRL problems as well. Uh, as you know, um, this week right now, the, as uh, anyway, as of the week I'm recording this to today, the day I'm recording this is April the 23rd. And this is a very important week for us Australian citizens because it's Anzac week. So in two days, um, it's going to, uh, which is April the 25th, getting a lot of lag, ping, um, yeah, which is April the 25th, it's going to be Anzac day. Uh, so if any of you don't know uh, what Anzac is, it's basically a right, brief history lesson here with Megalodon, learning hi history with Minecraft. Um, anyway, it is the day which uh, a lot of uh, young soldiers from Australia and New Zealand, uh, um, I guess what you can say, uh, joined the Great War, World War I, uh, to fight in the side of the UK. And they were meant to go and fight Turkey, or the Ottoman Empire back then. And oh my God, I keep failing this jump. Um, but uh, instead, I, they landed uh, in an incorrect place at Gallipoli, and they were pelted down by Turkish soldiers and were completely outnumbered, out, outgunned, etc. And they suffered a ton of casualties, and they had to retreat. So to commemorate the oh, my lead president. Oh my god, level 15 was such a long level. Oh, it's gonna be set. That's gonna set me back so hard. All right, um, all right. I need to figure out some, uh, some sort of issue to be able to deal with this ping. But for some reason, when I take damage, like that, never does anything for some reason. It's really weird. Uh, it might be something to do with as soon as I record. The ping goes high, who knows. Okay, back to the subject of history ing. So yeah, to commemorate those soldiers who died, obviously, um, we have uh, created a day to honor them, which is April the 25th, which I believe um, is the day that either, yeah, they landed at the land, at the beachhead. So yeah, there's a lot of um, things that's going on here. We have speeches, we uh, have speeches, there's competitions, there's like, you know, ceremonies. My school, I go to school, which uh, very lucky was invited. Our yellow was invited to a place in uh, Australia, very important, called the Shrine of Remembrance, to attend, you know, a ceremony to especially honor them. But there were also a lot of other things that we need to prepare. All right, so this time, before jumping straight down, I'm gonna have a feel of how long to take. All right, I'm gonna probably. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, okay. That wasn't a complete. Oh, okay, that's a complete failure. Oh, it's not. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. This has been way too close. Oh, I still have my Elytra equipped. Um, okay, it's not over yet. And I can't believe I failed twice, but like, both of the times I managed to land on the lower level. Okay, okay. Man, I need to be careful with that Elytra. It's gonna kill me if I... Oh, okay. It's gonna kill me if I don't watch out for it. I think what happened is if you, like, hold spacebar, it's going to eject. Or if you spam, I'm not really too sure. Yeah, but the multiple times where you need to use a lead trust definitely going to be a problem, which I'm going to have to face uh, in this, you know, this ping haven. All right, let's flap up these trap doors. So we're back to the subject because um, you know I have a lot of busy things, so you know I am a student after all. And come on, oh no, Elytra just won't eject. Okay, won't eject. Ah, oh, yeah, and obviously I believe Frida um, 
has a lot of things. Of course, she needs to work on animation for her own channel and her own studies as well. So it's been difficult for us to get together and record more episodes, but... Oh, that was so close. Okay. You know what? I do not accept these things. I'm just game modding it up. I know call me cheater, but it's really the ping like that. Little bit would have been so easy for you know anyone to pass, but it's just silly. All right. Um, I don't know what's up with the ping either. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to check later. It might actually be because that I'm recording, which I'm gonna bring it up actually. See if it's something to do with this performance. Um, Thing. Let's bring this up. Have a look, the ping is around 200. That sh that shouldn't like cause um that really shouldn't cause the Elytra to act that weirdly. Don't know why. Maybe I'm just unlucky. Okay. Oh yeah, the slime blocks is probably another area where they're going to you know. Uh, rip me off, but no, actually, I got through them surprisingly well. They didn't have that much of a thing. Oh, yeah, this um, area that gives me a ton of lag from transforming from leaves to like a cartoon version to a real version. I feel like this version is easier to parkour on. The real version is actually surprisingly harder. Oh my god, they switched in between the. Okay, okay, that's a little bit too close for comfort. Right here, the, um, he used a lot of the blo new blocks that were introduced in 1.12.2, which is a version of this map. You see, look at these uh, bone blocks. And this one made use of endstone brick. Actually, was endstone brick um, uh, one point? 12.2, I'm pretty sure it's 1.9 or something. Oh god, okay. Though I need to be careful of those things. They can kill me very easily, the levitation, if they over levitate me. Oh, I, I forgot. Um, Yeah, the chorus flower is like slightly more raised. Oh, and I just failed again. Alright. I forgot the chorus flower was slightly more raised than the normal chorus. Man, it's been like 17 minutes, and we. No, sorry. It started from like 14 minutes. Alright, we're about to be 15, and we only completed 18 levels, so... Yeah, on average we're completing about one... Um, what's it called? Uh, oh, the frame rate lag, not the ping. Um, so unforgiving. I don't know what is wrong with this system, maybe it's... Uh, the thing is, right, that's so weird, alright, um... Alright, let's turn uh, Pixelmon off. I actually had that running. Um, let's turn that off. Hopefully, that's going to improve my ping and my frame rate. If it does also, oh, but it cannot improve my parkour skills, which have just gone, which have just gone into the oblivion. Right, yeah, it's definitely showing me science improvement. It's not lifting me that high anymore. Although the parkouring is still as laggy as always. But, alright, we finally got through this area. Next area, next area. Yeah, this one bugged me a lot. So this is smoke, and you jump into it to get lifted up. Alright, fallen snow, fallen snow. Alright, oh, I, I'm surprised I managed to do that Neo. Um, Alright, loop around here. Um, what are some other series that I think I need to continue? Um, the Mod Guide series is definitely going to continue. But as you know, with that series, you need to prepare a lot of stuff. And also, um, I realized that I missed a lot of the things on the moon. So I need to like re-prepare the moon. And then also uh, do Mars after that. And then there's kind of like 
three parts you can go. You could oh here's a hole, and oh yeah going into water right. And it's kind of um three parts you can go after that. You could go to asteroids, which is where you need to where you find ilmenite, which is a all right. I think the ping has returned to normal after closing the pixelmon tab. Ah uh, yeah. Uh, you could go to Astro which, to get Ilmenite, which is a crucial, crucial ore um, for uh, continuous progression in more planets. Uh, you could go to you go to Mercury. Actually, you need to go to all of them. That I think of it. Um, go to Mercury for its carbon ore, Mercury ore, and also its infected water buckets. So on Mercury, there's these puddles of infected water. I'm gonna bucket up a ton of them. Uh, I'll explain why uh, later. Jeez. Um, right. Let, let's not um. Ca uh, what's it called? Ca carry myself away. That's for another video. Currently, we are doing parkour, and I'm surprised I managed to make that drop the first time. Right. Let's not get carried away here, shall we? Um, I think we jump to this vine. No. Where do we jump to then? I know I refresh myself, but this is still. Oh, we come to here. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm probably not going to. Oh, I fell in the lava. Oh, okay. He's, uh, I wasn't able to do that. All right. I think I found a good route to drop it though. Go down here. All right. Um, yeah, for Anzac week, it's going to be pretty busy. So I'll prob this is probably going to be the one of the few videos that I'll actually upload. Um, yeah, but honestly, I don't really regret it because I feel like YouTube for me is just like a hobby. I didn't really see it as a career, not that I could earn money with it anyway, because I believe you need a thousand subscribers and four thousand viewers. And what do I have right? View hours and then like what do I have right now? Um I think like ninety-nine subscribers and a hundred view public hours or something. Basically really, really minuscule amount. So I need to keep going. Oh that was clutch. Alright, go on the quartz. Alright. Yeah, so I've got a long way to go there. So for now, I'm just like, I don't really have a schedule for YouTube. I'm pretty much just doing it whenever I feel like it. I know that's probably going to hinder my progress if I'm not uploading consistently. But I feel like it's all for the fun, right? I'm just, you know, recording what I'm doing and then posting it on YouTube. And who knows who's going to, you know, spend their time to watch. But for whoever does, I hope uh, they enjoy it. And also, I'm uh, I'm surprised I'm at, oh I hit random accident. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm oh why did I say anything? I'm surprised I managed to get the dropper, you know, from here to the water bucket puddle first try. And of course, I'm never going to be able to do it again. Come on! Oh my god! Okay, I managed to do it first try, and now I'm just cursed. Ah. <sighs> Fell into the tree. Oh, I, my dead body landed in the water. All right. Oh, okay, finally. Yeah, we're about a quarter of the way done. And we've gone about. Oh, why do I keep failing? We're a quarter of the way done, and we've gone around 20 minutes. So theoretically, this is going to take me 80 minutes, so more than an hour. But I really don't want to do that, so I gotta hurry up. I cannot keep failing on the silly little small parts. But knowing me, I probably will keep doing that. Yeah. Anyway, um, back to topic. So. I don't know if you guys have like a very special national representative week like that, but 
Anzac uh, is a very important symbol to us Australians and New Zealanders as well. So if anyone from New Zealand is watching this, it's very important to them as well. Uh, but yeah, basically to these two oceanic nations, uh, is a really, really important event to, you know, remember those who, I, I guess, fought for our country. So it's always a big deal when uh, it comes to this week. Oh, I remember this level. This is the, the creeper level. Oh, no. All right. I remember, uh, so this happened in 1915, and I remember in 2015 they released the special uh, 100 years of Anzac coin, and I collected, I would say about 10 or 20 of those. They were only $1 worth, so yeah, but um, it's the collection that really matters, so I actually really like to collect uh, coins, believe it or not. Oh, I was really close to that, yeah. So I would collect all sorts of Australian, like, you know, uh, special coins. I've collected a $2, $1. So fun fact, the Australian $2 coin is actually smaller than the, I mean, like, in coin size, uh, smaller than the $1 coin. I don't know why. That's just how it works. And the $1 is smaller than the 50 cents. So we use the cents in dollars here. We don't use... The U.S. system of I don't know what they call like dimes and pence and um, whatever I I believe it's really really complicated system. Here is just dollar one hundred cents equals one dollar finished period. Yeah, but I've also collected some fifty cents. I've collected some. Whoa, that one blasted me really high. All right, collected some. Uh, this creeper blast seems a little bit random. I've collected some 20 cents. 20 cents uh, special coins are really, really rare. But I managed to get my fair share of them. And, oh, okay. Now, blast. Alright. And blast. And blast. Oh, I'm, I don't think I was... Supposed to no, I was okay. With these coins, yeah, I've collected all of them. I collect for foreign currency, so I got uh, U.S. money, uh, Indian money, Indian ru rupees. I'm pretty sure they're called uh, Russian rubles, uh, Singaporean dollars, uh, U.K. pounds, euro. Uh, Japanese yen, Chinese yuan. Uh, I haven't collected the Korean money yet. I think also. Oh, I overshot it. Okay, you restart. Yeah, but do any of you have that habit, or is it just like a? special interest that I have because I just like to co collect the uh, the currency from all over the world so I think it's kind of like a souvenir you know you go to that country and you collect some of their currency as a souvenir I believe I actually have some uh, uh, francos francs as well uh, because I'm not old enough to do that but some of my relatives have been to France before the euro was in place you know, back then they used francs as a separate currency, so I managed to get a hold of uh, some of them. I was, I got some one franc and five francs coin, or was it five? I can't remember the exact uh, number, but basically I got some, and apparently they're going to be, uh, if I save them, they're probably going to end up worth a lot since they've stopped uh, producing them. Because as you know, uh, most all, most of the European Union countries now use Euro. Well, I really wish that uh, Australia can like come to some sort of... Well, actually, it would be good if everyone could use like Australia's system of... No, probably Japan's. Japan's probably the best 
it's just one unit yen. That that's it. So it's just one to ten thousand yen. It's really simple, really easy to use, and really efficient to use as well. You don't have to start keep like calculating like if all right, how many cents equals this? How many dimes? How many shillings? How many guineas? It's just all right. One currency, pay the amount, done. It is so like efficient and such a clever invention. I don't know why no other country does that. Well, maybe some other country like Zimbabwe or something. But like to my knowledge, I only know Japan, which does that sort of thing. But yeah, I feel like that's if like countries can just implement a currency similar to Japan's uh, calculation method, that would be so good. Uh, it would save people like me. So oh no no no. Oh my god, that's the comment I get for, um, <laughs> yeah, for uh, complaining about my country's currency. Okay, steady. All right. Oh, block, block, block. Okay. Oh no. All right, gotta stand on these name tags, and hopefully, all right. So I've gone about 28 minutes, and I've done 33 levels, so it's still, oh my god. I, I'm just going to say it still averages less than a minute per uh, level. That's pretty good. But we do have 100 levels, so if that is the standard, then it's still going to take me like nearly 2 hours. So that's not what I want to happen, of course not. Oh, the last jump! Are you serious? I knew I should have take, taken my time with that. Um, right, let's go rush a bit. Alright, now take it slow and shift. Alright. That's that done, and of course I immediately failed the next one, but the, at least this one I failed the very beginning, so it's not that much of a deal. Alright, oh. level 35 now, okay. I did that level pretty efficiently, although even though I did fail once. Um, Alright, we need to go on this tree, I'm pretty sure. And then, okay, this light here, let there be light. Uh, I don't know why I said that since I'm not religious. Oh, oh no, I failed, I failed. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's water right there, but I can't use it. That's such a tease. As long as I don't fail in these final jumps, yeah, I've done that one pretty well as well. Well, this one, I'm pretty sure it's actually better if we go here. All right, yep. And like that, and like that. All right. Oh, no, okay. Jump to the tree and through, I guess this is another portal. It reminds me of, um, I used to play the Pocket Edition of Minecraft back in like 2014. And I remember when I played on like servers, they would always do this you know, mock nether portal. Because back then, uh, the PC version obviously and the mobile version had uh, the nether. But... Um, the mobile version did not have nethers. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah, they, it's just they did not have the nether. Like if you just did, if you did a circle obsidian and lights it with flint and steel, it's just absolutely nothing. So the way to get nether materials at that time, oh, I got an egg from, I guess, a chicken, which was once here. Uh, sure. 
Oh my god, the vine. Okay. Yeah, so, um, but the way to get nether materials back then was with a, uh, mechanical, oh, I failed the last things. Well, um, it was with a mechanical kind of thing. It was kind of expensive. Oh, there's the chicken. Right, it's called the nether reactor to core, which I believe is just crafted. I can't exactly remember the recipe, but I'm pretty sure it's just, um, diamonds, gold, and cobblestone, I'm pretty sure, or stone, one of the two, and then you use four gold blocks, as well as cobblestone and the nether reactive core, and it would, like, uh, generate a huge tower made of netherrack, and then inside, uh, it would spawn, like, zombie pigmen, and, uh, it would also, like, uh, leave uh, nether based items all over the ground like it would start dropping glowstone dust and also some other random things like pumpkin seeds melon seeds uh, i think also quartz soul sand as well i think basically it was just it was just a way to give give the Pocket Edition plays access to the nether items uh, before the actual dimension was uh, able to be accessed. But once um, the the uh, the what you call it the dimension was created, uh, the crafting recipe for the nether reactor cores were removed, and the uh, and you can't grab it from creative anymore. But they didn't actually remove the actual item file, so it, is curr it currently still exists as a legacy item. And uh, I still have one of them in my survival world, so yeah, that's something I would often show to the newer Minecraft players, but I will never use it again. I'm pretty sure it doesn't even work anymore uh, if you try to do it the old way. Let's try to do that again. Um, doing this level pretty viciously as well. I just did a complete 360 around that tower. Also, uh, by the way, even though now I cannot record uh, Pixelmon videos very, you know, very well because obviously for some reason it only oh I keep failing on uh, these jumps. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm not gonna stop commentating. I'm just gonna concentrate for the, for this level until I complete it successfully because this is just getting ridiculous. Okay, this level's finally finished. Right, yeah, but um, even though I cannot film Pixelmon videos right now because obviously of the glitch, I mean, I'm sure you guys didn't want to see like quality like the for uh the forty third episode, the Safari Zone. But um, I'll just give a report of the progress. So uh, I managed to catch some legendaries in the safari zone, however, I've heard from the players that Kyogre, the spawning of Kyogre is currently broken, so you can't actually get Kyogre right now, which is a little bit disappointing, but there's still two months until the spring safari closes, so hopefully in between that time they're going to be able to fix Kyogre so we can actually get it. Apart from that though, I've been able to be able to catch like 10, I'm only kidding, like 10 Xerneas's um, like, oh, you can't make that slime block, um, 
probably six or seven cosmogs, like five or six versions. I'm lost. All right, this is where I'm meant to go. Um, four or five mess spirits, two Xyz, one itself, and one Tapu Lele. Now, for the Tapus, I think I have a theory. So, currently it's spring, right? Or spring for the Northern Hemisphere. For me, it's actually currently autumn. Yeah, currently it's spring, right? So, it's going to be Tapu Lele. But uh, once it reaches summer, it, should, it will probably switch into Tapu Bulu. For autumn, it's going to be Tapu Koko. And obviously for winter, it's going to finish with Tapu Fini. Yeah, there's my theory of how the Tapus are going to go. Uh, hopefully it's going to be correct. Uh, wait a second, I just got to do something really quick. Bear with me. And I am back, alright, about a 17 second delay, not too bad, alright. Oh, no, I didn't catch the vine, alright, not good, not good. Branch. <gasps> okay, that's not very good. Right. Oh, actually, I just read that's end of sight. Um, I remember back in like twenty fourteen. And even though the mobile got a lot of, uh, generally way behind the uh, the console and the PC ver the console versions, uh, let's say, but they got the most useless things like andesite, granite, and diorite before the. Wait, how am I? Oh, you ride the minecart together. That is ingenious. All right. I remember now, yeah, um, but they got like the most useless things, andesite, diorite, and granite, before the console got them, which I'm so, like, damaged and triggered, like, can't you give us enchantment tables, brewing stands, the nether, the end, um, pistons, redstone mechanisms, repeaters, levers, buttons, how can you give any of these, like, useful things, uh, before console, but no, you just had to like give us andesite, granite, and diorite before the console. I'm just so like annoyed. This is like mobile abuse, and this is why you don't come say bad things about Mojang because next thing you know they're going to mess you up on your Minecraft. Alright, let's not rush this area. Take it slow and steady. Slow and steady! Ah, oh, I'm so annoyed. The problem is, the more I fail, the more impatient I get. And the more impatient I get, I, the more I fail. So it's kind of going to go st get stuck in this dead loop. Uh, 
but um, it's not that bad anyway. I'm s I'm s oh my god! Just give me a break, game. Oh, I know it's my own skills, my own bad parkour skills that's doing this, but I cannot help blaming the game. Uh, but yeah, but on the bright side, we're still keeping above the uh, one minute per level standard. We're still about three minutes ahead of, you know, the uh, the one minute per level. So just gotta keep going and going. And where did I fail last time now? I think it was on the redstone raised duck jump actually. I think yeah, I think that was it. Alright. Keep jumping. Alright, yeah, this is where I died last time, wasn't it? So I just gotta make this jump. Alright. Made that. I can't wait to get out of this hellhole of a level. Alright. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Alright, slow and steady wins the race. That's such a long level. Um, if I fail here, it's just gonna be like the worst nightmare come true. Alright, but we've done it, we've done it, alright. Oh, we've done it. Alright, bring home the beacon, okay? I think that's because I'm in close proximity to a beacon. Alright, oh, up, and across, alright. And through here. I don't really get what this is, maybe like, oh, I actually never looked up, this is my first time looking up. Um, that doesn't really give us any hint of where we are though, so, I've actually never looked up on this, uh, on this map before. So, this is my first time seeing that maybe this is going to give us an idea to where what we actually are. Maybe we're inside a heart? I'm not too sure. Or maybe we're in the reactor of that rocket that we climbed inside. Not entirely sure at all. Well, let's keep progressing. Oh, okay, we teleported it out. And I believe this when we climb up this tree. Right, oh, here's another portal, right? And, alright, that's a free level that we got. I guess you could say. And then, alright. Alright, we made it out of that. Now, it's probably going to be really bad for all of you because I know that YouTube makes everything so dark, but... This is the best I can get. I got everything up to the brightest I could possibly get it to. So yeah, apologies for you absolutely like blinding you guys back there. Right. And here, and here, and here. Oh, this is... Actually, I remember the level up to this level is really really hard and devilish so I gotta watch out. Oh okay. Is it the thing where it um you know it took damage from me but it still bounced me higher than usual anyway? That is so scary when it does that. Because sometimes yeah this is the level right sometimes if you land on the edge uh it would either not bounce you at all or bounce you really high and in that case it bounced me really high and oh no okay yeah, this is the level where the water rises and it's like a flood escape. It's really a bad experience. Um, yeah, it's pretty hard. You're against the clock, you're against pressure. Oh no. I think I've already failed. I might as well just kill myself. The thing is, for some reason, once you die uh, once on this, you get really bad frame rate lag. 
which does not make it any easier to complete this level. So you want to make sure that you don't die. Although that's easier said than done on this level. Let's go up quick, 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 quick. Go. Right, onto TNT. Oh my god, the lag. I'm getting like zero frames per second. This is insanity. Oh, I think I failed again. But what is this? Alright, um, all right, let's try this. Let's turn my render distance down to two chunks. Hopefully that's going to help with the lag. Yeah, it is, kind of. Yeah, it's giving me a lot better frames than before. Although it's still not in optimal condition, that's for sure. But, I mean, you take what you get, you don't throw a fit. Plus, this is probably, there's probably nothing else I can do. Which I could probably turn the graphics to fast, but I don't think there's anything graphics related that's slowing me down. I say that as I get absolutely killed by the frame rate. Come on, come on. Oh, oh my god, the frame rate is just... Give me a break. Alright, let's just turn like everything down as graphics. We're turning to fast. Particles, minimal, clouds off. Alright, that should be like the best I'll ever be able to do. And for some reason, the frame rate lag, I think it's actually gotten worse since I've. Oh, I just failed again. It just killed me, just killed me. <sighs> And make sure to bounce properly. And across. And uh, across the dispensers or the droppers, one of the two. Don't have time to check what they are, never do. Right, up and do not fail this jump anymore. Okay, now let's climb up the melon stack and jump onto I think it was the lapis. Yep, and the gold. All right, we might actually have a chance this time. Oh, it didn't bounce me this time, right? See, that time would have really liked it if it would have bounce me uh, too high, but no, of course, the time where I didn't need it to bounce me, it bounced me, and the time where I did need it to bounce me, it didn't. That's typical of the game. I think you guys should all be familiar with now Murphy's Law. Now I could restart all over again. Yeah, I feel like this level is going to be the death of me. It's going to push me beyond the one minute per level line. Oh no, um, alright, it's still salvageable, I'm pretty sure. Right, if I do the rest really well, you could have probably pretended that that never happened. Alright, we're up to the gold again, and bounce! Oh, I didn't make it! Oh, that bit actually calls for like utmost precision because if you don't go far enough uh, you're not going to reach the platform but if you go too far then you're not going to get bounced up so it's actually much 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 harder than it seems oh god I think I really failed might as well just jump in the water and I think I've officially um, lagged behind the one minute per level but this is a much more difficult level than most other levels, I'll probably be able to catch back um, uh, somewhere else. But if it's, it's just this lag. If it wasn't lagging so badly, it uh, probably would have been a lot easier. Alright. Let's go, 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 go. Oh! Alright, alright. 
salvage that, salvage that, salvage that. Go, 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 go. go. Oh, okay, that's definitely not salvageable. Ah. Uh, You're gonna be stuck on here for so long. Right, everything's gone smoothly so far, this run. I know I shouldn't be jinxing myself, but it's actually going pretty well. Oh, now I struggle to make that simple jump. Okay. Now, come on. Oh, I didn't feel like I could have made it. Alright. No worries, no worries, no worries. Let's try that again. Come on. Oh, I landed on a thing. Oh, I... You I shouldn't have jinxed myself, right? From now I'm not gonna say anything anymore, I'm just gonna fully concentrate on completing this level. Alright, we managed to get onto this platform. Now, just one more jump. Now, if we can make this from the fence to the... <laughs> you know what? Call me a cheater, but that is honestly so, like, just I, just... I just don't accept that. I just don't accept that. I don't accept that. Going back to, to the Emerald, I'm just going to do that jump again without the lag. Actually, there was still a bit of lag, but I just don't accept that. Like... I'm just completely fed up with that level that is so rage inducing that I would never want to do that again. Oh, and I, of course I had to fail that jump. Oh my god, what is hitting my head? That block there? Right. Right, now I'm just gonna speed, speed, speed through the rest of these levels to make sure that I can, you know catch up with the time oh and of course I had to fail that one no oh, no of course I had to fail that one this is all going downhill so quickly so fast like it, when one thing goes wrong everything goes wrong Alright, alright, alright. Let's not fail this jump. Alright. And here, or oh, the lag. Okay. Yeah, I feel like what actually Hilka did with, did, did with the refurbished map of Par Core Paralyzed 1 and Paralyzed 2, he uh, added detail to them. But he didn't necessarily make them uh, more difficult, and the difficulty still stay at roughly the same level. Whereas this, uh, even though it's not as detailed, is still much more difficult than Parkour Paradise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Oh god, where do I go now? Guess I can make it back there. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, as you can see, these levels are really, really long, like... Uh, and this isn't even, like, the most difficult one. After this, this... 
Yeah, after this, uh, there is still Parkour Spiral, Parkour Spiral 2, and uh, Parkour Pyramid, which I believe is by far the hardest map he's ever made. So yeah, I'm looking forward slash not looking forward at all to that map. Um, who knows? I made it back up to the levitation bit. Yeah, he really likes to use his uh, levitation healer, whether on this map or on parkour spirals, parkour pyramids, or I guess you could recognize from Parkour Paradise 1 and Parkour Paradise 2 after he refurbished them. Uh, he really likes to use uh, Levitation. Oh, oh, I keep failing on the same area as well. Like, I hate those bits where you hit your head. It gives you brain damage. Literally, it does. Alright. To the speedily as possible. Oh, it's always that bit. All right. Oh, I'm so like rage. I'm literally raging right now. Uh, okay, it's not good. It's not good. All right, force momentum. Force momentum. And. Get way up there, and right this time, uh, once we get up there, it needs to be. Alright, I think this is where I always die. We're getting back up there now. Alright, this is the jump. Now, what is the problem? Okay, that block. Alright. Yeah, if we just slipped to side, side, that would have been so easy. Alright, uh, it's just... For some... Oh, okay, I was about to scream, and then... At least we land on the previous jump. So, uh, we will... Okay, so let's parkour over here, and climb onto this chorus flower, and do the slime... Oh. Honestly, I'm not accepting this anymore. I know how, like, how much of a cheat that is, but come on, I'm not going to accept that. I'm just not. You don't... It's not, like, an acceptable thing to, you know, just do. And I... Uh, the slime blocks well. It's not going to be kind to me. Because I've actually done a practice run before this, and I seem to do so much better than like uh, before. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers say this, and then how before when, before I did YouTube content, I did not believe a single word that I thought they were just covering up, you know, for their bad skills and such. But now that I'm actually in their shoes, I do actually believe. Um. Anyway, let's sit down this cobweb. I believe this is the same uh, sort of thing as the quicksand on the level before. Alright, now let's climb up here. And momentum. No, it did not succeed. Come on. Alright, up to this one. It's another one of these uh, where you use terracotta to create a better you know, and more easily fabricated world than the one used before. So we need to 
what's the momentum over here? And I'll crawl up here. Oh my god, okay. Still not succeeded. Oh, I think I'm lagging really far back behind now. I'm on like level 55, and how long has it gone? Like 62 minutes, I'm pretty sure. So I'm really, really lagging behind now. And this failure is just not helping, right? I decided just take it slow and steady. Slow and steady. Jump, 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 jump. Ah, oh, the momentum is not working as well either. Normally it always works. Alright, alright, we finally got past that stage. That took forever. And that was only like a fourth of the stage, I'm pretty sure. So that down there was the spruce level. Up here, I believe it's the desert level. Oh, I keep failing on jumps that normally I would never like fail as well. It's very annoying. Alright, and then... Alright, up these terracotta blocks. Yeah, um, about the performance before, I know I know that you guys are probably not gonna believe me as well because when I was watching, I did not believe any of the YouTubers who said that. But you guys try recording, right? Try recording. Go and know something you can pull. Ah, uh, do something that you know you can pull off very well. Then record it. Then you'll see what I mean. Yeah. Oh, th that that block. It's only a three block. I don't know why I'm failing at it either. It should like completely be so. Oh, and I'm now I'm just walking off blocks. Right at this point, the the rage, you know, it's really getting to me. I feel like this is what Hyoka's maps do to you. It's like a test of your temper. Like, yeah, it really is. They Hyoka's map. They test your patience and your temper, not your parkour skills. And for some reason, I'm lagging really badly for a second there, but it's got better. Right. Yeah, th his maps are really a test, yeah, of that. Okay, this cactus is not going to work as well. Everything is just going wrong. I finally made it past that level. Man, that took like absolutely forever. No, no, that wasn't even the same level. <laughs> My mind's actually going blank at this point. Alright. This time we're jumping on six of dynamite. Alright, made it through this level flawlessly. Next level is like this mega taiga. I nail that four block jump and I make it across here and force momentum this jump. Alright, made it through this one flawlessly as well. All right, I'm catching back a little bit on the counter. We're about 65 minutes and we're 59, level 59. So, but this one's gonna be, this one is a pretty long level, I'm pretty sure, so probably won't be able to make the difference up on this level. I loop around this way, and... Oh, no, okay. Man, I keep failing on this these three block jumps for some reason. I should not be failing on these. And they're ice as well, which means they're actually really simple. I just fail on them for some reason, you know? Like I just do. It's probably the the Hilka sensation. That alright, I a new word that's invented right now called the Hilka sensation. It's basically whenever you play any of Hilka's maps and you know the ray shots it's a boil inside of you, that's the feel, and you keep failing at the map, that's probably the sensation, you know, you know, there we go, best analogy 2021. 
Right, let's go down these stairs. I'm actually so fortunate, I feel so fortunate that I revised this map prior to this, because if I did not, I would have no idea how I would be able to do this within like two hours even. That's pretty easy, right? So I've done 67, this that's 61, that's at around 67. It was still a six minute difference. But I should be able to make up the difference if I just parkour really well. And this one, I think I'm also about to complete it flawlessly. Alright, there we go, another flawless one. Oh, this one with the minecart track. Well now, as long as I don't um, do something tragically bad like that. Oh, that was not good, alright. Let's uh, climb with this one, actually. Let's try going from the lower uh, area and just shift and grab onto it. Alright, that's worked really well, actually. Better, better than I expected, alright. Uh, small little mistake, but shouldn't affect it that much. Right, I'm at, right, we're at 68 levels and 60 level stage 63, so we're making progress. Right, oh yeah, this one, the Prismarine level. Oh no, but if you fail on these water levels, so annoying to get back to where you were, because like, in 1.12, alright, you can't actually swim, like sprint swim, like you can before, in, uh, I guess you could say, uh, 1.13. So you gotta just like, you know, do the old bob swimming, and swim like that all the way back to... The, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the starting point. Alright, we made it, alright. It's about the same, took about the same time. Um, no gain and no loss. Alright, hopefully I can complete this, this, uh, stage within 60 seconds. Up, up, up. Alright, where do I need to jump now? Okay, on these fallen snow pieces. I don't know how he gets these to stay up in the air, like maybe he has um, maybe a string holding them up, but I didn't see any string though. So I don't, oh okay, there's some really hefty lag that's kicking in for some reason. Alright, jump down to the water, and now the reverse dropper, I gotta fit in one of these holes. Alright, I did pretty well through that, oh my god, I nearly just jinxed myself, and here's the exit, alright, alright, that one went pretty well, let's keep going, alright, what, how is it now, before it was, right now it's about 10 minutes with, sorry, 70 minutes with 66, so we are catching up, uh, after those dramatic huge failures that we had before but uh, level 99 is going to be a huge set like as well so oh it's another one of these elytra levels right hopefully now that I got rid of pixelmon the thing is going to work properly and we can elytra properly all right oh, okay um, all right let's use this Bench to park onto this uh, fence pole and jump onto the stairs and onto the branch. Oh, no, no, I'm just okay. Now uh, we gotta loop around. And did that trapdoor just close under me? No, okay. I don't know how, but it feels like it, that trapdoor just closed itself on me for some reason. But, uh, it's not that actually... I don't know, it's it's something to do with the lag. I'm blaming the lag, blame the lag. I'm, uh, I don't know why, but there's probably something to do with me recording. Because normally when I play this, it's never this laggy. Like, you guys can probably still see the frame rate that I'm having. It's about, uh... It's about, it's actually not too bad of a frame rate now, in all honesty. But sometimes it would just get the occasional frame. Oh no, I think I'm dead. Oh, it's, this is just, alright, yeah. But I would get the occasional frame rate drop to around like 20 or 30. 
but you know that's enough to kill me. Like let's just play with my frame rate up. Right now I'm getting a constant around 50 FPS. But um, uh, if we keep uh, this up, you'll see that probably sometime soon it will drop to like 30 or 20 or something. Uh, this drop to 47. This 48. It's actually keeping on a consistently pretty high frame rate. Now I don't know why I'm like lagging because obviously you can see like it's a little bit buggy. But then it says that the frame FPS is like really high, it's like around 50s, high 40s level. Why is it like so, I just don't get it. Alright. I just don't know why. Alright, let's just go and uh, just try this, oh my god. Alright, so I'm honestly so fed up with this system, so I'm just going to... Uh, game mode, the errors which I just, you know, just so fed up with. And I'm gonna game mode this area as well because I'm just honestly so fed up uh, with this level. So I can uh, continuously make this, alright, make it to that area, to this area over here. Alright, climb this ladder. And open the trap door. It should get us to this area, right? Okay, this is a mushroom biome. But yeah, that air, that level right there. It's not even hard, but it set us dr drastically back. So we're now around 74 uh, minutes, but uh, at level 68. So now it's another s difference of six. See, oh my god, that does not help at all. Right. With these water levels, honestly, I just cannot, uh, you know, bear to do that again. I made through that mycelium pretty well. Oh my god, what were those vines? Okay. That frame drop, everyone saw that. Alright, mycelium. Alright, it seems to be all smooth sailing from here unless I somehow accidentally jump. Oh, I remember this level. This level with the uh, the killer bunnies. So, if you fail on this level, you get eaten by killer bunnies, which is not a pleasant experience at all. So, let's not fail on this level, shall we? Um... Normally this is the level that I fail a lot on, but today I completed the first try. Guess it's oh, and I fell on the chorus flower somehow. All right, all right, all right. All right, pretty good. All right, that wasn't too bad. Oh, I nearly just jumped right into the void. Okay, so right now our situation is 75 minutes at level 72, so we're actually really catching up. I'm just gonna run down the ladder. We'll pick up this Elytra and just go for it. Alright, that was really good movement, you know, the whole extend Elytra, uh, you know, right into that gap, really good movement. No, we've gone back to level 71. Um, I guess this is a too big, like, mega level. Alright, Elytra released, and fly through this. Alright, we're on level 73. So, it's a difference of 3 now. And this Parkour Battle Rise 3 is so much more unforgiving than uh, 1 and 2. One, uh, for 1, it took me about 20 or so minutes. 2 took me about uh, 40 or so minutes. And I guess every time it would double. But by the looks of this, it's going to like at least triple. Yeah, probably triple, I would say, from uh, 40 minutes. 
That would be two hours. Hopefully, it's not going to take me two hours. No, it's not going to take me two hours. If it is, um, it's going to be. If it was was to take me two hours right now, I would be about right. So I just got so uh, eighty minutes. So that is, and two hours is one hundred twenty minutes. So if I was on, uh, if I was going to take two hours right now, the stage number that I should be on is. I'm trying to do maths while parkouring. Um, so 80 minutes of 120 minutes, that is 120 divided by 3 times 4. So, no, divided by 4 times, no, I, I cannot, it's divided by 3 times 2, sorry. So 100 levels divided by Three right now, and, and so I would be on level 66. So yeah, it would not take me two hours by any means, uh, but uh, it's not going to be very good anyway because yeah, I'm about a, a three quarters of the way done, which is not going to get me very far. And that I keep failing at that error, right? You know, uh, I'm game mode,ing I'm game mode,ing I'm not going to accept, you know, this kind of thing. Okay, back, game mode back to 2, and I'm just going to keep game modeing because I'm, uh, I'm kind of fed up with this level. <laughs> to be honest, this really tests your patience, and yeah, the, the patience, it's, re it's really a patience test, honestly. And I seem to be failing miserably currently since I've used God knows how many God knows legit how many game modes that I've already used and of course I had to fail that slime block jump so I'm gonna go back and all right oh. okay let's go through this level and then uh, climb up these trap doors and go back what I'm just going back to the same room oh okay this this place under here okay and then shulker box. Yeah, shulker box, so I believe, was a new thing that they added in 1.12. Was it a new thing in 1.12? I can't exactly remember my updates very well. I knew um, yeah, the 1.4 was it was the nether and the end update. Why can't I make that jump to there anyway? Um, oh, I gotta get onto here and then... Oh, okay, that makes more sense. 1.4 was when they added the nether and the end, I'm pretty sure. And then one point. Five was God knows what. One point six, I believe. Oh, I really can't remember anything. Um, I know one point eight was, I believe, the. Oh, I just failed. Um, one point eight was the. Uh, was the ocean monument. One point nine was the combat. One point ten was the frostburn update. Oh, oh, actually, I think I remember 1.8 was the uh, end cities and Elytra and all such. 1.10 was the Frostburn update, which was packed ice and magma blocks, which in my opinion are really overrated. 1.11 was the inventory update, so that was llamas, uh, traveling merchants, uh, woodland mansions, I'm pretty sure. 1.12 was color update, which was obviously uh, concrete, concrete powder, glazed terracotta. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I don't think there was much else actually. To be honest, that was main. That was the main content of the color update. 1.13 oceans update, which was obviously added swimming, at ocean binds, at corals. Now, ocean temperatures, you can add tons of more different versions of fish. Uh, 1.14 village update, it added the new texture pack for default, which I hated. But aside from that, it was raids, different villager roles, you know, it finally updated the village, which saw no change for such a long time. Which I think was pretty cool. And then 1.15 was... Uh, bees, which I have no idea how to use, and since my patience is now officially diminished to zero, I'm just immediately game moding back.
and then 1.16 was obviously most the, re the most recent one, the nether update, which I have no idea how to use effectively, by the way. Because <laughs> I have not played survival yet. Let's not fail. Alright. This one with the sea lanterns. Uh, I keep walking up the edge for some reason. Oh no, okay. Oh, I keep walking off the edge. Feels like, um, I don't know, it feels really weird. Like, it feels like I wouldn't be that close to the edge, but I am. Oh, and then sometimes I would just, yeah. This level was never difficult for me, but now it is for some reason. Alright, but I think we've just about completed that. Next one, oh, I remember this level that was this is the level with the, all the branches. So, what are we right now? We're currently at 82, no, sorry, 83, and we're at 80, level 81. So, obviously, we have caught on pretty well, although that was through a little bit of cheating, but we're not, we're just gonna let that slide. All right, climb these branches. Spam the space bar. Oh no, you shouldn't spam the space bar. Okay. At least I didn't fall all the way down, so I can carry on from here. And then shift. Let's not spam our space bar the whole way. Alright, shift key is also important, as important as space bar is. Yeah, I feel like some of these uh, levels are actually, no sorry, not these levels, some of these jumps are impossible without the shift key. Alright, four block jump, okay, made it. Alright, in we go into this one. Now, I like how they coded, um, kind of each type of wood, like for example the acacia logs are always going to be hollow and empty. Oh, this level, I remember this level. So this level is going to change into netherrack, and then magma block. You need to be ready for when it changes. Alright. No, 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 no. Game mode two. All right. This swapping of lava, magma, and uh, netherrack has made the game extremely, extremely laggy. So I'm going to blame my fails to the lag. Uh, which is what Minecraft players pretty much always do. Yeah, I've actually noticed that pretty much the only game where people blame the lag for people blame the lag uh, so much is Minecraft. Probably is because it's the most played game, though. No, but yeah, um, people don't tend to blame lag less in other games. Of course, I've never had a base for comparison. But I have not, and I have not seen m many other videos of other games like FPS games or um, I say other games. But lags definitely uh, more prevalent in this game than most other. You know, because I wonder what cause lag. So lag can be two different factors. One is ping. Which is when your connection uh, to a, a client. So that, uh, so for that, that the problem is either your internet or your connection to the clients, which would could also mean the location of, uh, I could say your 
host relative to you and no come on I'm not accepting that now si since like for example if someone has an Australian connection and they're trying to connect to a European that's, that's obviously not gonna result in any good connections and it's probably just gonna have really really high ping constantly now another one's frame rate so that is based on if your computer itself can handle the graphics that are generated for example my computer right now it cannot handle the recording and the running of this game so some other background tabs I have uh, so I'm actually going to close some stuff right now so which is why you can see this kind of this like choppy uh, display that's happening so that is frame rate now I'm kind of getting a bit of both right now oh okay this is another one so the one before was escape the water this one here is escape the lava so I believe this one's actually harder than escape the water so I spam the spacebar Alright, let's go up these stairs and slime bounce. Up on here and oh, okay, this is where I'm meant to get lift up. Okay. jump across to here oh I'm getting some really bad lag if I can like make this first try through all this lag I'm, I'm gonna be really really like surprised and impressed but I just don't think it's gonna happen like I know that sounds really pessimistic and it's probably not the way to go if you want to uh, achieve something but yeah see exactly the the lag is not gonna allow it <laughs> And I'm something else that's not going to be allowed is me starting this all over again because that's just not productive. I'm sure you guys don't want to see me fail at the same bit over and over and over again. I'm just going to go from where I failed before, right, game mode two, and try this again. Okay, made that time. Then make it to this ladder. And then, okay, so we're out of that, that lava uh, section. Now we're into this wood section. What time? We're at uh, around 90 and we're at 87. Oh, that's still not good. All right. Well, I'm I'm not even like commentating that much anymore. I'm just concentrating so badly. It doesn't help that this area is very very annoying. Honestly, uh, I'm just gonna game mode back to this area because I know I've made it to this area before. I'm just going to, um, you know, get a piece of oak and just make a checkpoint here. And we're going to keep this piece of wood on me in case it, need, it needs to be used to do some further cheating somewhere uh, down the map. Which I'm sure will come in handy with my level of impatience and rage and god knows what else that's happening.
Oh, I keep failing these easy jumps as well, which is not making my life easy. Alright, climb the vine. Okay, we got the parkour on the clouds. And across here. Bounce on the slime block, don't miss. And I believe this will open. Oh no! Oh, okay. That was such a big derp that I just did. So let's go back here. Press the button. Mm -hmm. Like, my skills have like reduced to zero. What is up with me? I can't even jump in a hole properly. Alright, finally. Alright. Level 90, we're on the last 10 levels. So technically, we should be able to do this within 100 minutes uh, of playing, that is, because right now we're about 3 minutes behind the 1 minute per level thing. And me, you said that being set on fire is not going to help, so we're just going to do this. Quickly get rid of the fire. Right now, swim, 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 swim. And across. And down. And bounce on this guy's head. Alright, that is level 90 done. Level 91. Now, I remember this one. It took me so long the time I first did it. But it was just one of those silly, like, things where like normally i would go keep going there but you actually meant to come down here i don't know how i didn't notice it but i just did did not i'm just gonna climb up this ladder and slime bounce all right and for this one we're gonna go dive in the water whenever you see water in one of the heel map you just know that it's where you gotta go Right um, to these trees, the canopies of these trees. Are these even considered trees? Let's say they are. All right. All right. Open that trap door to make it a little bit easier. This level is made by Jtra91. Or I can't even see him anymore. Special thanks to him for playing, making this. I think he said. Yeah, so a special mention to him as well, helping Hyoka make this level. Um, this level, it, uh, it is true that this level does not seem like Hyoka's normal style of building. So I guess it is definitely true that it was someone else who built it. Going across, alright. Huh. Alright, we're on level 94 now, so we are about catching up to difference of two now. Alright, we've caught up a lot. Now it's the difference of one. Now this is the one where you get exploded to death by fireworks if you fall. So you want to be careful. Lift it up. Oh no, it didn't lift me up properly uh, enough. Alright, there it is. And just jump across here. Then 
then I guess all right slime bouncing to all these separate areas Right, level 97. Right, so now the difference has, assist, has officially been reduced back to zero. So one minute per level, although in about 20 seconds, it's going to be reversed. So I gotta try to complete this level in 20 seconds to completely inert that factor. Although it's gonna be really hard. I don't know if that's realistic. I'm on six more seconds. Oh no, right. But it is really close. And we might be able to do it since this next level is pretty easy. So come on. Oh, but the level 99 is going to be the death. Oh, are you serious? I had to fail here. Right, game loading. Oh, I can't even cheat properly. This is how bad I became. Alright, so some simple jumps. This is a calm before the storm, as they would say. Alright, this is the final level, the huge tower. Alright, I will probably... Sp oh, no, oh my... Oh. Alright, 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 well, at least we are able to take the minecart. I believe that we want to take the first minecart, which is the... You know what, I'm just going to continuously stay in game mode for this, you know, no, I won't. I'm not that, you know, daring, I guess you could say. Oh, but this has nearly been two hours. Let's do... Oh! Right, being really, really impatient impatient now gotta be patient which is not an easy thing to do after you play the map continuously for a uh, hundred minutes I believe you swim up the water here then go up here you don't swim up any of these those waters and you jump back down here and get up. Come on. Yes. Alright. Now you go up and through here. And then you don't take that minecart, but you go up this section. Through, oh, okay. Alright, we've made it to the top. And we actually haven't used up that much time. I think we can only use like one or two minutes, to be honest. Okay, this is dangerous. I'm turning the render distance back to 12 chunks. Because if we miss the slime, it's all over. Alright. Jump. And... Swim to the end. All right. Oh, okay. This, this is where the journey ends. You beat all the hundred levels, and the end is this. A bunch of gold blocks. Not this time. No. No, let's do something new. Something modern, okay? Funny to say since this was created so many years ago. I hope you enjoyed playing this map. What was it called again? Parkour Paradise 3, of course. Oh, it tells me back. Parkour Paradise 3. Map made by Hilka, absolute legend. Even though I, his map really make people rage. In cooperation with Bike, Bike Super Skull Lion. Special thanks to Leon 
Leon Fee 91, Daniel NL, uh, I think that means Netherlands, It's Me Sam, Jtron 914, that's the one who created the special level inside there, Pizza Geki. Thanks for playing, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if enjoy is the right word, but I definitely had a whale of a time playing it. So thank you everybody for watching this episode, if you enjoyed this please leave a like to, and subscribe to the channel, so it does help out the channel a lot to make that perfect 100 subscriber amount, and looking at the fact that I've been playing so long, just have mercy on me, see you all, good night, take care, goodbye everyone.